Hey everybody, it's Tim Pepperth here with Thursday Night Live Fly Tying and Fly Fishing Over Outfitters, and I'm here to bring you another quick tie. If you are watching this, please leave a comment. We'd love to know that you're here, um, that you're part of this group. We're going to call you the Replay Squad because you're here to watch what comes next. Also, go ahead, just click subscribe for us. We'd love to have you as a follower. And if you hit that little bell signal with your cursor as well, that's just going to update you and let you know anytime a new video comes out that we put out for, for another tying video. All right. If you've got your Season 4 kit, go ahead and grab it. If you don't already have this guy, you can head over to our website at www.flyfishingboardwork.com backslash TNLS4, and you can pick this up today. Let's head on over. We're going to grab our Season 4, Episode 11. Tonight, we're going to be working on the Devil Bug. It's a tiny little dry fly. Let's head over to the vise, and I'll take you through it. All right, the Devil Bug. There's a few different ways to tie this fly. But I'm going to take you through probably the most simple, quick, and effective way to get a bunch of these cranked out in your box. So I'm just going to use uh, some olive colored UTC 70. I'm just going to start my thread behind the eye. I'm going to come in here and get that tag out of the way. And now I'm going to work this all the way back to about where the barb would be. The barb is currently hidden in my in the vise, but let's just leave our thread right about where it would be. Now we're going to go over. We're going to grab out of your kit. You got a patch of deer hair there. Let's grab some deer hair. The the clip you're going to grab a little bit is really not much. Grab a little more than you might think you need, about a half a pencil width. So if you look at this here, about half a pencil width. Let's grab that much. As we always say, go in, clean out the back end of this stuff, clean everything up, get it all the, the under fuzz and the fur out of it. We're going to stack this guy. So let's head over to our, if you've got one, put your shore stacker, shore stacker, hair stacker, your shore hair stacker, or as Dana likes to call it, the deer stacker. We've come up with lots of names for this this season, but go ahead, tap this a few times. That's going to align those tips. We want to keep the base of the hair stacker off the back of the fly because when I pull this out, my tips are going to be aligned in the direction that I want them to go. Okay, so I'm going to grab this with my right hand as I'm a left-hand tire. You'll notice that. I'm just going to see what I got for an amount here. Okay, that looks like I'm probably going to have a little too much still, so I'm going to back out a little bit more. I may have to restack this in a moment, but I'm just going to pull a few of these hairs out just because I got a little bit too much. I may have been able to keep those tips good. Yeah, they still look pretty good. Okay, so when we're going to come in here, what we want to do is measure a tail that's going to be roughly a hook shank length off the back of the hook. Okay, so I can just put my fingers here, measure it off the tip, translate that back here, switch hands. Now it's important here that I do a nice clean gathering wrap for me because I am, again, I said a left-handed tire. I'm gonna give my bobbin a clockwise spin. If you're a right-handed guy or a lady, do a counterclockwise. Get a nice gathering wrap. I'm gonna do two of them. I'm not gonna pull tight right off the hop. I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure. You can see it's starting to flare that hair. I'm not gonna do too much, okay? I'm just gonna cinch a bit, check my tail. And what I notice is if I pull down too hard, it flares my tail way too much, okay? So it's better to take some soft wraps start to build the tension at the tail. I still haven't pulled tight. All I've done is lay a little bit of tension down and that keeps that flare down a little bit. The important part here though, is we want to always maintain that this hair stays up on top of the fly. And you'll see why that's going to be important here in a moment. So I'm going to take just a couple more thread wraps, pull it a little bit tight. Now I'm going to pull all that hair up and this is going to kind of reorientate it so that it is back on top of the fly. Throw some thread wraps underneath that so that it is up. I'm going to give it a little pull, making sure that all of those, all that deer hair is right up on top. So you can see when I come to fold it forward, that they're all going to be up on top of the fly. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the only other material we've got on this fly. And that is some bright red dubbing. When it comes to a devil bug, you can use whatever color you want. This is my go-to though. We're going to make a very generous um, dubbing noodle here. So don't, don't go sparse on it. We want to have a nice corded up chunk of dubbing to lay down here. If you put too much on, that's fine. You can always take it off. This stuff is super simple to do that with. We want to get a really good rope here so we can lay down a ton of wraps, get a very nice bold red body out of this. So I'm going to come in here right where I left my deer hair and I'm going to actually kind of wrap back up on the deer hair. Okay, do one wrap back on it. And then start taking some wraps, trying to create a nice bulbous, but even 
underbody, all the way up to just behind the eye. I might have a little bit too much here, but I'm just going to cord it up a bit. We just want to try to keep that as even as possible on the underbody. Okay, so I'm going to go to there. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to grab all those hair that's not part of the tail. I'm going to pull it up and over. And as you can see, I'm just trying to cover the red on top, but leaving all the red exposed in the bottom. If you got any hairs that are kind of out on their own, you can pull those out of the way. And now that I've got that pulled forward and kind of pulled up a bit so I don't know it doesn't go around the sides, I'm going to lay a thread wrap down, lay a second one down, and this time I am going to pull tight. I want to flare that deer hair, okay? So I've got this basically this humpy back in appearance. I'm going to come in here and clean up this dubbing a little bit. I got a little bit haywire on me. I'm going to pull all of that hair back, put some thread wraps in front of it, okay? We're going to leave an, a bit of a lip on here, kind of like we would a caddis. Now I got a few deer hairs here that kind of wanted to do their own thing. So I'm going to get those out of the way. So I've just got my tail. Like so. Okay, now I'm going to come in here. I'm going to whip finish this. So we want to whip finish this in front of the deer hair. So go ahead and pull that deer hair back. And whip finish in front of it. <laughs> oh man, Tim is struggling today. Get that out of the way. We're going to do a whip finish. Oh, maybe Tim's going to whip finish today. Certified badass. There we go. Three or four turn whip finish. Get any of those fibers that are kind of where they shouldn't be out of the way. Come in and clip your thread out. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pull all this forward. We're going to leave a little bit of a head on it. Cut it at about a 45. Just like so. Clean that up so we got no hair where we don't want it to be. We got one little piece here I'm going to clean up. And then we're going to be wrapped up. And don't forget guys, this is super tiny. You can do it in all sorts of sizes. You can do it, <clears throat> do it in any color. So don't hesitate to get creative with your colors. I like the red, but there's also purple, there's green, there's orange. There's lots of different ways not only to tie this, but to fish this. You can strip it, you fish it as a dry fly in a dead drift. Anything you want to do, this is our devil bug. All right, everybody, again, this is Tim Hepworth here with Fly Fishing Board Outfitters and Thursday Night Live Fly Tying. This has been another quick tie from uh, episode 11, season four. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I want to see you guys show up, make some comments, let us know you're part of the replay squad. Don't forget to hit that little bell. That'll also notify you every time you get a new video out. Until next time, guys.